Hello YouTube. Alright, so today I'd like to talk about polar alignment with the telescope. And um, one of the issues that I'm seeing with polar aligning is it seems uh, it's getting more and more uncomfortable for me to get all the way down on my knees and uh, or putting my head in an awkward position to look up the polar scope um, in um, order to get um, aligned on Polaris. So just a little trick. Um, that's relatively inexpensive that, uh, that you can do to, to kind of help you um, look up this without getting in any uncomfortable position. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, start unscrewing this and I'll catch up with you in just a second. Okay, so here is the uh, polar scope uh, outside of the mount. And uh, so I started thinking, well, what can I use as an application or what kind of application should I use to, um, to, to slide onto this or butt up to this so that I can have a little bit more comfort um, in looking uh, or trying to polar align the mount. Uh, so uh, I've seen cameras done before. You know, people use cameras and they, you know, butt them up to it. Uh, the problem I found though is the focus. In order to, you know, you have to run it way out or way in, and I just couldn't achieve really the right focus trying to use a camera. So I thought, you know, and also I already have enough USBs running and electrical equipment running to the computers now from the telescope. So I thought, well, I'd rather have some sort of an optical aid. So I went through my box and I found, um, you know, this piece here, which is a, a right angle finder for um, the viewfinder for a DSLR camera. So um, the next step then, of course, is now to try to find some way to uh, to connect this uh, to uh, to the polar scope. So um, I'm going to take a look at that next with you. Okay, so the first thing that came to mind uh, was um, this little piece when I went started going through my box. This is a little uh, male adapter or plug, I should say, for an inch, inch and a quarter uh, eyepiece. So I took a uh, razor knife and cut this uh, metal, this uh, pardon me, this uh, plastic tab out. I have a prototype here I came up with, and uh, cut it out and uh, cut a little square in the back here. And that square actually, what that does is. Um, with this little viewfinder that you buy here, this right angle piece here that you buy, it comes with all kinds of attachments for different types of cameras. I have a Canon, and uh, so all these extra ones that I had here, this is an adapter that actually goes on the DSLR, and it's got a little beveled edge there so that this can attach to it. It's double beveled, so it's beveled on that end so it slides on the camera, and then it's beveled here so that the viewfinder can slip on it. Well, <clears throat> so I went ahead and you have to take and cut because you want this back piece flat uh, so that you can glue it or attach it somehow. So I went ahead and cut all that off. I actually have another piece here as a prototype that I've already done that. I took it and made it flat. So I've still got the beveled edge on one end uh, so that it can attach, uh, the, the right angle finder can attach on this side, but then this is flat now it can, you know, push up against. So let's see, uh, it's an application something like this is what I came up with. And that actually worked okay. This piece, by the way, once it was cut and uh, put out, it does fit on there, but it's very, very snug. But the problem is, is that once I hung the weight of the, uh, the right angle finder on it, um, it was a little off. Uh, so it's too flimsy. So I needed something a little stiffer. So I took uh, the end of my eyepiece here off of the toller scope and took this up to the uh, hardware store and did some shopping and I'll show you what I found next. Okay, so back from the store and I went out and I found this uh, piece of uh, PVC. It's an end cap for a PVC and uh, this is for a one inch and if you notice I got the one that has the threaded it's threaded. Uh, they had the ones that were smooth unfortunately they were exactly the same size uh, as the uh, eyepiece so it wouldn't slide over but I went ahead and bought this piece because I, as I push this on now it goes on a little while, a little bit, but then it gets a little tough. Uh, but that's only because these threads in here, which are quite deep, Let's see if I can get a good shot of that, just need to be with a Dremel or something, just ground out just a little bit, and then it's going to be a uh, quite nice attachment then to uh, not only with the depth, but then uh, you know with how stiff it can go on without buckling. And then um, this piece back here is rather thick. Um, it's a little bit of a dome. I'm going to have to grind that down a little bit with a piece of sandpaper. But uh, now I need to put a hole in this and see if we can get this um, application put together. Be right back. Okay, so the first step is I took a little Sharpie and uh, went ahead and uh, centered this as best I could and uh, filled it in black. Uh, so now what I need to do is take that and uh, 
Anything that's black needs to be removed. And I'll probably do it with a drum or a drill uh, to get that out of there. So let me go ahead and get that uh, cleared out. Also, uh, there's a little bit of writing on this. Uh, so once this is all done, it's definitely going to have to be uh, sanded down flat so that this flat piece on this uh, adapter piece will uh, can be uh, attached uh, uh, without any, you know, perfectly flat so it gets the best bond possible. Okay, so um, the only uh, glue that I had available was uh, liquid nails. It should hold, I would think. If not, I'll get some uh, PVC uh, um, glue. But uh, not my best uh, drummel job, but uh, not the worst either. But I got that pretty centered. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let that dry. Also, uh, kind of honed out the inside of it so it fits nicely uh, around the uh, polar scope. So let's go ahead and let that dry overnight. And uh, we'll check back in the morning and see how everything lines up. So here it is the next day, and uh, the uh, liquid nails unfortunately did not hold this together as like I thought it would. Uh, so I went ahead and bought some uh, PVC uh, contact cement, and uh, it bonded these two pieces together very nicely indeed. So it's, it's very, very strong. And I also bought some uh, flat black uh, spray paint. I tried to buy these caps uh, in black so they could match the mount. Because um, I'm got a little OCD when it comes to like functionality and uh, aesthetics, so I'm just going to go ahead and paint it black, and that should all match nicely. So let's go ahead and get this painted up, and uh, pop the pop it on the polar scope and put it on the mount, and let's see how she works. Okay, so here it is installed, and uh, it um, is all painted, came out nice and sturdy, and uh, slides right off, slides right on, and let me see if I can get you a little little image of what you can see down in there. I can get it aligned. There you go. Of course, it's a little better in uh, as far as the HD in uh, real life, but uh, you can see that it clearly um, provides a comfortable position for you to get down and uh, polar align your scope. So I appreciate everybody going through that process with me. It looks like we got a nice little addition to the uh, mount and um, clear skies, and I hope you join the channel. Take care.